In Nairobi's Karura Forest, a small group of people gather for interfaith prayers. This is the site where a memorial stone and a plaque bearing the names of the dead was unveiled a year ago. Many here are either survivors or bereaved family members of the Westgate attack. My late husband, um, we're here for him. Uh, it's his second death anniversary. Um, he was a victim at the Westgate incident two years ago and we miss him dearly, we still love him and you know we're just here because we had these, uh, you know, we planted all these trees for all the victims. I just hope that Kenya can became, become more secure and remain secure because our children are growing up here and we do not want anyone to go through anything like this again. It was absolutely horrendous and I think everyone who was there, it will be scarred in their memory for the rest of their lives. The attack began on September the 21st, 2013, when four gunmen entered the mall, spraying shoppers and staff with machine gunfire and tossing grenades into crowds of Saturday shoppers and diners. The attack left 67 people dead. They then fought it out with Kenyan security forces before the siege was finally declared over four days after the first shot was fired. I am here on behalf of the people who died at the rescue at mall that was attacked by the, the militants. Uh, I'm here to celebrate their lives because it was the worst death that was ever suffered. As a country, we need to do a bit, work a bit more to avert the, the terrorist at, uh, <coughs> fear in us. But as such, we are all safe. Uh, that, that is what we all pray for. The Al Shabaab say the attack was in revenge for Kenya sending troops to fight the extremists in Somalia as part of an African Union force. They have launched a string of subsequent attacks in Kenya, including their biggest attack to date earlier this year, the massacre of 148 people, most of them students, at Garissa University in the Northeast. The Westgate Mall reopened in July after extensive renovations. A prayer service is also expected to take place inside the mall on Monday. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.